Melissa, a welding engineer for Weld Australia, and in conjunction with Box Hill Institute, I'm here to talk to you about the Soldomatic Augmented Welder Trainer, the newest technology in welding training. The Soldomatic uses augmented reality as a training tool to train welders. What we see on the screen is what we see in the helmet. The icons on the, on the torch as well as on the test coupon is what the machinery uses. To activate the augmented reality using the MEG process, we just need to press the trigger. And now on the screen and inside the helmet, it looks like we are welding on actual steel. And if we bring in the torch, we can see the torch as well. So let's get started. You can select the difficulty level. I'll be choosing intermediate. The Soldomatic supports a variety of welding processes, but I'll be showing you the gas metal arc welding process, also known as the MEG process. I'll be taking you through a fillet weld and a T-joint. In the 2F or flat position on carbon steel. It supports a variety of material thicknesses, but I'll be doing the 6 mil using the standard ER70S-6 wire. I'll be using the 1.2 mil diameter wire using a mix of argon and carbon dioxide gas. One pass only, but we have the choice to do two or three passes. We can also practice our weaving pattern, but I'll just go straight. We can also practice our stitch welding, but I'll just be going continuous. And with gas metal arc welding, we usually push. This is just a summary of everything that we've selected. So over here we have our T-joint. The machine has indicated that we need to increase our volts from 15 to about 18. It's also indicated that the gas is off and we need to put the gas on and increase the flow rate to about 16 liters per minute. We can also increase our amps or our wire feed speed These are some safety gloves just to sort of give the student the same feeling as if they were really welding in a real workshop. It's a lot easier to weld without these, so it does play a role. Even though we're doing this in a classroom environment, it already starts to get the student aware of safety as well. When you start welding with a soldomatic, you will notice that the torch, the helmet, and the, and the gloves give you a real feel of real welding. To activate the augmented reality, we have to just press the trigger. The indicators that you can see on the torch give me an idea of how I'm doing. If I should be moving closer to the piece, if I should be moving further away, and if my torch angle is correct. To start welding, we just pull the trigger. The blue arrows give me an indication of my travel speed. So when we're 
we're done with our world, we can do an analysis on it. We can assess how we did with our work angle, our travel angle, contact tip to work distance, travel speed, as well as aim. So the work angle for this world was supposed to be 39, and I got a 93%. 15% travel angle, contact tip to work distance, about 15 millimeters, which is pretty standard for uh, MIG welding. The travel speed was 3.2, and the aim was 0.01 millimeter. Quite a tight tolerance, but overall, because of the indicators and because of the assistance I got with the machine, I achieved about a distinction, over 80%. We can also replay our world. So the Soldomatic supports a wide variety of standard coupons that we would see in a practical scenario where we do a well test or a PQR. So as you can see, we have a pipe weld where we would do a butt weld. We have a pipe to plate fillet weld. Fillet welds in plate, in a T-joint, as well as a lap weld, and a standard butt weld. Using this fixture, the Soldomatic also supports the various uh, welding positions that we would see in a PQR situation or in a welder qualification. So the next process I'm going to take you through is the stick welding process, also known as sh shielded metal arc or manual metal arc. So we're going to be doing a fillet weld in a T-joint. We'll be doing it in the flat position in carbon steel. We'll do it in 6 mm plate. We'll be using the E7018 electrodes and we'll be using the 3.25 mil diameter wire. We don't need gas. One pass only, continuous welds and with uh, stick welding we drag. So as you can see we have the uh, stick electrode and we start at the blue dot. The indicators are there to help us. So as with stick welding, you can see that the consumable is being consumed. So we just have to keep an eye out on how much we're being used. Now we need to clean the slag. The trick to master the technique is to not only move along into the weld but also to press the electrode so that it gets consumed into the weld. And this technology um, can, can teach someone to get over that or to overcome that quite quickly. So even though 
this is not real welding. It still gives you an idea of what the arc does, which is a very important aspect to consider when you're learning how to weld. I hope you found this tutorial informative. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.